Welcome to episode number four of the SRA report. And this week, the SRA MS Awareness Gen 6 series went to Charlotte in the day 10 configuration. The SRA Slam Truck series had a bit of a wreck fest over at Kansas. And the SRA Showtime Shootout series went to Eldora for the second time this season. At Kansas, it was Jared Darling on the pole of Mark Christian's second, Freddie Rosa, Air Yachty, and Tyler the Charm. The top five as the trucks went around for 130 laps. They would be side by side at turn but eventually Marcus would take the spot. But on lap number two, there's a big net coach as Fredo Rosa net killed Dariani. That was a huge pile up at a turn two that collects Connor Anton, Tyler Ducharme, Ronnie Norman, Nick Northrup, among others in this pile up at lap number two. And that's when the Rex would begin. Brian O'Shell on lap number 17 gets punted. Well, that punted, kind of spun out by Connor Anton. Might have been net coach as well. Over Carras gets into the wall and he also gets into Will Klein. That'll be the second caution of the race. Then lap number 21, more problems with Tyler Deschamps. He and Sherman. Mark Newland touch on the front straightaway. Newland goes spinning into the infield. Deschamps makes an incredible save. That'll be the third caution out in number 21. And then the hits just kept on coming. Kyle Putz gets a little loose out of turn two, but then gets a little bit of help from Lachlan McMillan. He overcorrects and goes head on into the wall. He spins down to the inside. Luckily, no one else would hit him. That would be the first caution in the race. Lap number 33 after pit stops, Aaron Davis would take two tires, but he would lose the race lead to Marcus Richardson, who used the inside line to his advantage, even though the track is usually one groove and mostly a high side track. Then lap number 40, David Shutt gets up, loses it. Out of turn four, he then overcorrects and gets into Lachlan McMillan, who bashes into his right side and he goes spinning into the wall. That would be the fifth caution of the race on that number 40. And then it was more problems with Aaron Davis. He got the wall in turn four. He comes down and gets bulldozed by Ariadne. Femi Olin had no place to go. So did Bobby Chang. They collide on the exit to number four. Then Olin tags in Nicholas Carrasso and spins to the inside. And now I bring out the sixth caution of the race on number 52. Eventually, though, we actually have some green flag runs going, and Bobby Zelinski would start to be a four in Mark Richardson's side. He would be battling out for the lead, but then there would be a near caution on lot number 87. As Mark Newland would actually almost lose it out of turn four, it makes a nice save to prevent the caution from coming out. And that was just as green flag pit stops were starting to take place. Because on lap number 90, Bobby Zelensky would come in to do an undercut on Marcus Richardson. But just as he did that, Ariani gets loose out of turn four, gets into Will Klein. He goes into the grass. Ani spins down and smashes the outside wall on the front straightaway. And that hurts Bobby Zelensky on strategy. Seven caution rays have come out. And then as the field came in for pit stops, Frank Del Rosa actually wins the race off of pit road over Marcus Richardson. He would actually take over the race lead. And then after the race on number 105 was a four trunk battle for the lead. Here came Marcus Richardson to the inside, down the front straight, the way in a turn one. He would take the lead away, away from Frank Del Rosa. Then here came King Cook once again. He almost got by Del Rosa, but he eventually slide down behind. But eventually, there was a four truck fight for second with De La Rosa Cook, Nicholas Carrasso, you remember, had that issues earlier in the race, and Bobby Zelinski. All these guys were battling out for top five positions. Eventually, King Cook would get by Fred De La Rosa to take over the second spot, and he would actually start to close our Marcus Richardson. The winner here at Kentucky was looking to perhaps swipe his second win of the season. But. On lap number 125, Josh Robin loses control on the front straight after hitting the wall for turn four. Goes for a long, long slide and just spins onto the front straightaway. That forces the yellow to come out. And that forces a strategy situation. King Cook and Bobby Zelinski, among a couple others, actually go into pit for tires, but it was a one lap shootout. Marcus Richardson gets a great jump at the start of lap number one, pretty much the final lap. They would be scrambling around free four wide behind them in this mess. And eventually Marcus Richardson would take the win. But Kyle Putz loses it off a of fourth again. Nicholas Carrasso and Bobby Zelensky takes second by passing in the grass. Wild finish at Kansas.
Tyron Charlotte for the AMS Awareness. Gen 6 series with Tyron Ducharme on the pole. Bobby Linsky, Ariadne, Caleb Eisenhower, and Benjamin Nelson in the top five. And Ducharme get the early advantage off of turn two. He would lead the first three laps, but then here came Bobby Linsky to Ducharme. A little bit wide and a bit loose right there off of turn four. And here came the NASCAR P. Gantry series points leader to the inside. He would eventually take the lead and return one. Then lap number 16, a bit of a strange-ish caution. Lockheed McMillan gets in the Jonathan Shipman, who makes an incredible save regardless of turn two, but he locks it down just above the apron, and that forced the officials to throw the caution. On lap number 24, Caden Henry got loose out of turn two, and Cody Miller had nowhere to go. Heavy damage to the right side of Henry's car, and his day was over. No caution, though. Lap number 25, Tyler Desharn was doing a bit of a diamonding of the track and getting huge runs off at turn number two. He goes for the lead on Bob Zinski and return free, but to no avail. However, lap number 31, disaster. Ducharme gets loose at turn two, bounces off the wall, slides down the back string, he locks it down. A great miss on Benjamin Nelson Davis had to avoid it. Then here came Kyle Gordell and King Cook had nowhere to go and slammed the charm behind them. Austin Roberts got turned by Stephen Lucendi and he pile drives the inside wall. That was the second caution of the race. And then Zach Hudson gets into Cody Miller as if Miller didn't need having more problems. They touch in turn number one, lap number 42. Miller spins out. Riley Wyatt had nowhere to go and smashes into Miller's car. That'd be the first caution at number 42. Caleb Eisen. Howard took two tires on the pit stop, and this was a key moment. Freddy De La Rosa overtook Bobby Zelinski, and then he gets by Eisenhower off at turn two to claim the race lead. That would be proved to be pivotal later on in the race. As green flag pivots were going on, Jonathan Shipman decided to go flying, literally splitting four cars who were battling for a top five position after Shipman made his stop. He split them off at turn two. Great awareness and wells did not come down into him. And that battle would turn to a battle for second place between Femi Olad, Ariadne, and Kyle Putt. As these guys were battling, they were actually catching up to Bobby Zelensky, who was losing ground to Freddy De La Rosa as Zelensky tires were starting to go away on him. And then, and Benjamin Nelson would eventually take the lead as the bit of a cycle food, but just as he pays lot number 105, there went Freddy De La Rosa, who went, made their pissed off a little bit earlier as well. Also, David Shutt, very late in the goal number 115, nearly wrecks the car in turn two. Bobby Ching, he and Kyle Puss do a great job to avoid plowing into the back of the target Chevrolet. And then, very late in the going, Bobby Zelensky was catching Del Rosa, but then here came Ariani, and he makes the pass for second, but eventually, Freddy Del Rosa would hang on and take his first win of the SRA MS Awareness Gen 6 Series. Back to the greatest show on dirt and their second stop in the outdoor speedrun under the daytime configuration and it was an example of drivers getting more used to very worn track conditions. Alex Peck would actually take the lead off at of turn 2 using the cushion a hand of chance Crum as the rest of the field going 3 wide almost 4 wide behind him. Crum would get to the inside on the front straight away and go for a slide job in turn 1 and 2. He would take the lead from Alex Peck but Peck then bounces off the wall was a huge checkup. Down the back straight, Bogolinski goes to second. Brett Bunkari, Kyle Plutz, and Riley Wines were battling side by side, three almost four wide for top five positions as the field was just scrambling around. They were getting more and more used to slick track conditions. Bogolinski, who was running in second place, would actually have problems. All star Turner, he smacks the outside wall. Alex Peck goes by, and he almost gets run over by Kyle Putz. As they then come up at turn four, Putz then. Nearly lose control, gets hit by Alex Peck. That was a free one situation with Riley Wines and Brett Pankari. Then he goes scrambling and then goes Pankari. Almost hits Zelinski as they were just fighting it out amongst themselves for position. There will be a caution later for Josh Robin. Meanwhile, the behind him, Tyler Deshaun, who started at the back of the pack, was slicing through the field, eventually getting up into the top 10, then the top 5 positions. 
passing Pankari, David Scheidt, and also Bobby Zelinski as well. The Sharp making the bomb from side work and starting up to the bench. He was just carving through the field. Eleven number for 18. John Trump, who was having all kinds of problems today, gets spun by Kyle Punch. Luckily, no one plows into him. Down towards the second caution of the race to come out. And then the Bunkari top five in points was trying to use the cushion, but he hit the outside wall at turn two, and that broke the right front suspension of his car. He would eventually be forced to pin a lap later, but because he was going so slowly into the pit that forced the yellow to come out for the first time in the race. And then late in the going, Riley Wines pulls out a huge slide jump on Bobby Zelinski, but Zelinski had none of it, and he spins Wines out of the way. Well, not really out of the way on purpose. Wines that comes up and gets plowed by Jonathan Carson. Bobby Cheney had nowhere to go, and that would effectively end the race under the caution flag. After 40 laps, it'd be Chance Crum getting his third win of the season the SRA Showtime Shootout Series in what was a pretty wild affair at the Eldora Speedway.